Okay, let's get started. So, who knows about Planet Fitness, and is anybody here a Planet Fitness member? No? Have you ever been a Planet Fitness member before? Okay. So, this is a very innovative business model. Um, this is a little bit different twist than what you've heard throughout the day, but at the same time, a lot of the information and insights that you've learned today around what Tatango's capabilities are, are very similar. And so hopefully after this session, you'll be able to take two or three key things away that might be valuable for your business. Um, when we look at this, just a little bit about you know, myself and who I'm with. Uh, we work, I, I'm part of the largest franchise group within Planet Fitness, United PF Partners. Uh, we have 600,000 members and we're in 80, 86 clubs in 10 states. And we're actually opening up 10 more clubs this year. So if you think about this, we actually are utilizing Tatango um, to really personalize the user experience across the board um, to understand and how we connect and how we create additional value, recurring value for our members over time. And this is a, a pretty interesting story. Uh, when I um, was with Planet Fitness, I was reading Farm Don't Hunt and Guy really spoke to me when I was reading this book and it was really an interesting insight for me. It was like, wow, when we're thinking about proactive lifetime value and we're thinking about customer value, we're looking at a hub integrated platform like this, how could we create additional value for our members? And so as we kind of look at what's the problem, it's not just a Planet Fitness problem, this is a big problem across all um, within the domain of the fitness industry. And so we look at greater than 50% churn, which is a huge number. How could we make an incremental or maybe an exponential impact around retention and be able to understand how we can use personalized campaigns and continue to understand how we drive value to our members? Um, this was a one-year process. I started in February of last year. Um, some of the key success stories of this is we're able to get 30,000 people back to the club. We have 600,000 members and we're able to get 30,000 people back to the club. How did we do that? Um, how do we, how were we able to kind of understand how we can provide a, the best member experience possible? Um, the brand is really strong. It, you know, it's a uh, judgment-free zone. It's be who you are. Um, understand there's no gym intimidation, but at the same time, as we think about how we create value with our business model, which is a very simple business model, um, you know, $10 a month, how do we create additional value inside and outside the four walls? And so as we look at this and we think about the different touch points within creating value, these are the steps that we took to do that. Um, we, we want to understand the problem. What was the problem? The problem is understanding the full member experience during the customer journey and how can we connect disparate systems together to be able to understand that full member experience and to drive value at the right time? So after the onboarding process, the 30, 60, 90 day period, how do we continue to drive value to them? Um, we surveyed our members. We want to know, you've heard today about the outside in perspective. Uh, I think that's really true and it resonates in the B2C world as well is that you have these members outside and they have, we have our customer journey map, but what we really need to understand is how you know, what is the data telling us to be able to understand what the real member experience is? Um, what are those meaningful touch points? And then maybe some of the assumptions that we thought actually aren't true. And we need to kind of rethink how we're creating value for our members and unlearn what we're thinking, relearn that, and kind of iterate and do some piloting around this. And then double down on the quick wins. And so I think you guys have all seen this, but this was something that really caught my attention and it caught the attention of our C-suite. Um, and it resonates with B2C world that you have this customer journey map. And if you think about the member experience from Planet Fitness's point of view, this is really exciting because what if you could take this technology and you could build leading indicators of churn after the onboarding process to understand what's actually having them kind of move into yellow. And not only that, how would we be able to create proactive engagement to them in a meaningful and purposeful way in real time to be able to change their behavior? Now this takes time, as you guys know. It's You have a span of time, you have a moment of time, and you have habit forming techniques. So we're just at the beginning stages of this, but what an innovative and amazing opportunity to be able to understand and learn member behavior and be able to really create value at the right time for these members. So what did we do from an inside, outside, within Tatango? These are the touch points that we used. Um, all of these things were integrated into Tatango. So we have our loyalty program, which is rewards to reward members for doing an amazing job in the club. We, we use personalized content to be able to drive value to the, the, to the members based on their unique needs. 
So if it's they want to learn about diet or they want to learn how to use equipment or they want to learn how to um, you know, uh, understand how to connect with a fitness trainer, these are opportunities to do that. Uh, Net Promoter Score we've heard about today as well, which is measuring loyalty. So each one of these was sort of a touch point that we integrate into Tango. Community is a big aspect. Uh, we learned that we could connect 86 clubs across all of our members and be able to create a network effect within the community to be able to drive value with more members, creating more value for more members across the clubs. And so you can see here is that we took these touch points and then we're able to build the API within Tango and to do this. And so when I came on board, things really weren't talking to one another and there wasn't really a way to understand the full member experience. Now we've come to you know, an opportunity with an inflection point within the member experience to know how each one of these is creating value for our members. And actually we could take one or two of these or all five of these and personalize the experience within Tatanga. So a unique case would be that, wow, could, wouldn't it be amazing if I could take a middling club in Texas and personalize that experience to John and I even knew that John had worked out and he, great, you know, great job, you've worked out three times in a row and then you could tie it to the actual fitness trainer within an attribute that pulls from our POS system into Tatanga. So we had to define, just like any other business, understanding the member journey. And so we had the onboarding process within before 60 days. And then what we did is we took the physical and the digital and were able to actually merge those to really create this immersive experience, member experience, and to understand what the good and the poor looks like and what's growing within the digital and the physical behavior. And this might make a little bit more sense is, I think everybody, if you've been a part of a gym before, you kind of understand that when you go to a club in the New Year's, you're, you're, you're ready to fire it up, you're ready to go, you're motivated, you're inspired, and then maybe a week later, a month later, you start to kind of drop off a little bit. So it's an amazing opportunity to think about how you could take good health for members that have checked in at least once in the last two weeks, once in the last 30 days, or guess what? They checked in the last 30 days, but they, they went the first two weeks, but they didn't go the second, uh, the, 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 uh, the last two weeks of those 30 days. And we could create value for them at the right time and be able to drive behavior and ultimately business value and member value. And as you look at this, you start to look at how would, where do we want to actually touch the member? How do we want to really ensure that we're providing great experience? And then which ones do we not want to touch? Um, not to say that we want to create value for everyone, but we also have a very successful model that some people just don't, you know, they don't want to be reached out um, within those, maybe within that engagement area. And so, this is an opportunity to really use the attributes and the point of sale and the different systems that we have that we've integrated into Tango to really drive additional value to our members. And it's such a telling experience because this is actually giving us insights on things we didn't know before and we didn't have the capability to do. We're able to increase those capabilities and really increase our capacity to learn more about our members to be able to drive value to them. So this is real world example. I love this stuff because like, what do the hard results look like? What is Tatango doing that really is able to change our member experience? And what's full attribution to the other touch points that we just talked about to be able to really do these things? And so this is an example. So we have a member. Our members have $10 a month. $10 a month does not allow them to go to some of the black card amenities. So we gave them an exclusive opportunity to actually have, to get access to our free hydro massage beds. And I encourage you, if you haven't tried that, you should, you should try them. They're awesome. Um, wow. I wasn't able to do this before, and now I have an exclusive opportunity to go to, to take advantage of this hydro massage bed. So what happened? As you can see here, you know, the data speaks for itself. We had a very compelling um, resolution, you know, recognition of understanding, which I talked about before, the hypothesis is maybe we don't want to touch these members, or maybe we want to make sure that we're creating value and understanding what their member behavior is, and we can actually connect with them. And so, you know, I think if you see this, it's very compelling that there's a lot of success in learning here to understand how our members are reacting to this personalized messaging and campaigns. But it's not just about the personalization of what we're doing. It's also the strategy of how Tatango gives us a measurement infrastructure to understand how we create value at the right time during the customer journey. And so as we look at this, you know, this uh, to our C-suite was very uh, exciting. We don't want to jump to conclusions, but we definitely want to keep learning and keep understanding how we can continue to create more value for our members and business value for our company. Um, so not only did we actually get them to come back, 
we actually got them to keep coming back. So what this is, is one campaign in Q4, we sent out one email to them. And, that's, and they started coming back based on the opportunity that we, we knew that they hadn't been coming back, we knew that maybe they had came back and they stopped coming back. And then what we're able to do is track the actual trajectory of what's happening over time for these members and they continue to come back. And you can see here that you know, 47% visit at least once every the four, last two weeks once we sent this campaign out. 7% means that they, they checked in five times in a week. So to me, that's extremely powerful information to understand how we're driving behavior, or at least the beginning stages of how we can drive behavior around to Tango and around the other, the other systems that we're using. So key results here. This, is, this to me is a, a really powerful slide. It shows that when we're able to implement this strategy and we're able to drive value to our members at the right time during their customer journey and be able to actually see the, understand the member experience, we're able to reduce churn. You guys saw that this industry has a greater than 50% churn rate. And this isn't, I, this isn't just you know, to Planet Fitness. This is a domain industry you know, challenge. We can get them in. We're 80% of getting them in the club, but how do we continue to create additional value so that inside and outside the four walls, they see a lifestyle brand here that we can continue to develop more value to them so they don't leave. And, and imagine the power, power of this is if you know, we can take one, one or two campaigns in Q4 and be able to drive value. And there's a lot of other things that we did, but we're able to really see churn reduction to get 2,900 to 5,800 members a month coming back. It's powerful. Um, you know, this equates to about $10 million in new revenue for Planet Fitness, so it's a, it's a pretty good number for, the, for our franchise group. So key takeaways when we look at this. Um, my key takeaway is, and there's a lot of good information here, but is I've heard some amazing people talk today, and I think you guys have heard a lot of these different um, opportunities around um, you know, net promoter score, customer success to Tango is personalized to Tango to drive business value for your company in an innovative way. It doesn't mean that you don't have core features that allow you to take advantage of to Tango, but the real power of to Tango is understanding what your business problem is and being able to adapt to Tango and able to uh, deliver value to your members in a personalized way through innovation. And so um, what's great about this is I saw Spark today, and that's innovation. I love the fact that the Tango is continuing to evolve, and they have sort of this um, you know, you know, strategic initiative. And, and I, I was here last year, and it was very exciting to see some of the evolution of Tango and the new clients that are coming in. And um, I see this as a, a tremendous opportunity to continue to capitalize on the things that they're doing with their platform. Um, you know, be pro so we become we start to become proactive around responding to member behavior, um, personalized, timely messages. Um, this does make an impact on B two C, as you guys saw. Um, for everyone fighting, you know, understanding how churn. You know, we we did a lot of piloting, a lot of A/B testing. Um, we did a lot of understanding what those segments look like. We we slice and dice this. We had we had the power and the tools of the technology to do some pretty incredible things, and with power comes great responsibility. And we had to figure out before we do this, are, you know, is the data accurate, is it clean? And the next thing we had to do is, you know, what's the process? And then we had to understand how are our members going to react to this? Because um, you know, we have a very simple model. And if we could do one or two key things around personalizing message for members with a frequency cap within once a week, what would happen to the behavior of those members? And, and, and we're seeing that impact now. Um, so, you know, I think this is a great success story. We're just at the beginning stages of this. Um, I'm passionate and, you know, fired up about taking it to the next level. Uh, we've defined what the red and yellow green segments are, and now we're about to really start driving behavior um, around four or five different value pieces for those segments, and then be able to figure out um, what those leading indicators are to double down on those and hit the accelerator button. Um, and so, you know, our, our uh, chief uh, digital officer for PFHQ in New Hampshire owns retention and the initiative here. So this is a key strategic initiative for us, for Planet Fitness, and, you know, we're excited about it. So this, uh, 
concludes the presentation. I'd, I'd love to answer your questions if you have any. I know it's kind of a different way of thinking, but um, thanks. Thank you, Adam. So if anyone has any questions, I can carry around the microphone if it's going to help, but, or you can. Um, how are your CSM segmented then uh, for Planet Fitness? So that CSM is me. Oh, okay. um, so I, I uh, head up customer engagement for our business and put together sort of a customer engagement strategy. We had a lot of collective intelligence with our team. Um, but it's, it's really been, uh, you know, our cut and also the customer success has come from Tatango. Um, we actually have been working with Kassen, who's Ickman, who's um, our CSM. So we actually had a dedicated resource to help us with this process. And, you know, for, so, for a new business, uh, you know, for a new business uh, solution like this, you know, there were some different things we had to think about our business. We're actually kind of reinventing ourselves and trying to figure out, you know, how do we use this software and this technology. And to Tango was, you know, amazing at wanting to jump at the opportunity to kind of solve this problem. So we leveraged a lot of Tango's resources and we had our steering committee and our executive team and myself kind of guide them on what we wanted to All do. Right. Thank you very much, Adam. Yeah.